What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. This one is going to be very short because we're just talking about something really cool. Um, well, sort of a little bit of something cool and a little bit of something not so cool. Uh, we'll get into that. Essentially, we're going to be talking about uh, the FNAF movie. And there was like a little poster kind of thing that you can see on the screen right now that was posted on the Blumhouse Instagram page. And uh, it is an animatronic with Piper Rubio, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, who plays Abby, uh, who is Mike's younger sister in the FNAF movie. And they are standing, holding hands, looking at Freddy Fazbear's pizza. And I must say, it's an awesome kind of like teaser image. I think it's absolutely insane that this like existed at one point. Um, I think this is really, really cool. And I'm so excited for the movie, which is coming out October 27th. 2023 in, that, that's crazy that's crazy and apparently it's it's premiering on peacock as well so i'm gonna have to get that and then do a reaction possibly if that's even going to be possible but wow <laughs> okay where do i even begin there's a big debate going on right now and it's on twitter and so i'm i'm actually going to go on my twitter uh if you want to follow me there's my uh there's my thingy it's in the description um, but on my Twitter, uh, especially like my Twitter, I've been kind of talking about it quite a bit. Uh, so let's go back to the start, I think, probably. Um, so a lot of people are... I, I've been commenting on other people's posts pri uh, primarily, I think. But a lot of people think that the bear animatronic in this very photo is, Fre uh, is Freddy Fazbear. Oops, that's Blumhouse. It's Freddy Fazbear, and a lot of people think that it's Golden Freddy, and I and I ran a poll. Uh, it was only on Twitter, so I only had six hundred and eighty-six votes, and it was actually so neck and neck. Like I cannot believe that it was basically fifty-fifty on this. Um, so I, I'm, I'm more people said Golden Freddy, so it was probably like three hundred and fifty people said Golden Freddy, while the other three hundred and thirty or something uh, said Freddy Fazbear, which is insane to me because. That's Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> I swear that's Freddy. Like, this is what I'm so hung up on. Like, to me, to me at least, that's Freddy Fazbear. That's the Freddy that we all know and love. So where are people getting the idea that this is Golden Freddy? That's a great question. Um, a lot of people are saying that it's Golden Freddy because it is missing an ear. And if you know what Withered Golden Freddy looks like, Withered Golden Freddy is missing the exact same ear. Of course, the hat is a little bit tilted as well. Um, and, you know, it, it looks a bit limp. Like, over here, actually, right here. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in much further. No, I can't. Over here, like, you can see that the part of the suit has kind of fallen. Like, it, usually it's, like, attached to an endoskeleton or something. But it's kind of, like, fallen because of gravity. Could be a sign that it's Golden Freddy. Also, the jaw seems to be hung open. I don't understand, though. Because, you know, this isn't Golden Freddy. Like, it's it's standing up. I know Golden Freddy can be seen standing up, like, in the FNAF 2 cutscene and in the books. And I guess you could say FNAF AR, but I don't really count that one because that's not really Golden Freddy. But, like, Golden Freddy can stand up, sure. But... This is Freddy, I swear. It has to be. Why would they, why would they, like, advertise the movie with Golden Freddy, like, already? Like, I feel like they would keep that. Like, they, they wouldn't want to spoil that. They wouldn't want to spoil that surprise before we even, like, see anything else about the movie. Like, I don't understand why they would do that. A lot of people are saying that it makes more narrative sense that this would be Golden Freddy. Because they're outside, they're outside the pizzeria, and also holding Abby's hand is like signifying that they are one, and if Golden Freddy is possessed by, say, Mike's brother, then it would make sense because it's like a family dynamic, right? So, I don't know. Okay, so we have this tweet by Derpy Horse. Um, it's essentially like the colours, um, because a lot of people are saying that it looks more yellow than, than brown, but I... 
personally don't see it. I mean, I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on this video saying like, how dare you? You know, it, it is 100% Golden Freddy. And okay, fine. If you believe it's Golden Freddy, then you believe it's Golden Freddy. But you kind of have to see the point that I'm making here. Like, Freddy can be missing an ear. Freddy can have a tilted hat. And Freddy can look yellow because of the lighting. But like, a lot of people are saying that this kind of glow on, on the Freddy animatronic is showing its true colour, which is golden. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say. Like, I, I really, really feel like this is Freddy. And the only reason I say that is because the iconic golden Freddy pose is him slouched. You know, why would in, why in this movie would that kind of just change drastically. I feel like it's gonna really stick to kind of like a lot of what we know in the games or in, a lot, like, if you think about FNAF 1, the FNAF 1 games were like, were driven by the secrets. Um, and the main secret of FNAF 1 was Golden Freddy. Like, that's undeniable. Golden Freddy was just there and people were seeing him, people were trying to find him, people found the 1987 Easter egg in FNAF 1. Like, Golden Freddy was a massive secret, and I feel like they should keep it like that in the movie, or... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like we do know that Golden Freddy is going to be in this movie, because we have had someone casted as Golden Freddy. Which I think... I, I, I should actually move on to my next point, probably. Which is that we have Ghost Kid number 5. And Ghost Kid number 5... You know, victim number 5 probably Cassidy, right? Or like a variant of Cassidy. It's it's essentially um it's essentially the kid that possess possesses Golden Freddy to be theorized. Oh god, this one. Uh it, it's essentially a theory that uh Ghost Kid number 5 is possessing Golden Freddy because like who else would the fifth kid possess? You know? I I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but um here we have Jophiel Love. I'm I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I actually don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, and they made an Instagram tweet right here. And they said, Blumhouse just dropped the news. Five Nights at Freddy's will be released October 27th. So exciting. And yes, you can catch me in it. And actually, my whole family worked on it. So it will be an exciting one for us. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, here's the thing, right? At the bottom, we have the hashtag Golden Freddy. Now that... Is a lot is what a lot of people are saying. Like that is the thing that proves that this animatronic is Golden Freddy. That's fine, okay. You can believe that. Here's where I doubt that, okay. First of all, this is from the fifth victim or the the fifth ghost kid or whatever. So this this kid is probably related in some way to Golden Freddy anyway. So that's probably why the actor has tweeted out hashtag Golden Freddy anyway. Is it relevant to the image? That is like the big question here. And really, I don't think it is. <laughs> because like, if you look at the other hashtags, it doesn't really add up, you know? So we have FNAF, hashtag Blumhouse, fine. Hashtag FNAF movie. Hashtag FNAF fan art. So you really start to doubt, like, how trustworthy these hashtag sources are. Because if we have something like hashtag fan art, when this isn't even FNAF fan art, then, like, who's to say that any other of, the, any of these other hashtags really do say anything, really are trustworthy and reliable? So, like, we can't really cherry pick here. And that's what I've said in this tweet. Like, for those of you using this Golden Freddy as proof that this is Golden Freddy animatronic, sure, it does give more merit, I will admit that. It does. But we can just cherry pick the hashtags here. It says FNAF fan art. This isn't FNAF fan art. It says hashtag FNAF world. What does that have to do anything? Like seriously, what does FNAF world have to do with this image? Why would she put um, hashtag FNAF world there? Uh, and additionally, this was posted by Joe Fiel playing Ghost Kid number five. It's very likely that's the kid that possesses Golden Freddy. So who's to say that the hashtag has anything to do with the image? So I am still skeptical on that. I do think it could go either way. I am okay. Actually, I don't know. Like, I, I understand why people believe it's Golden Freddy, and fair play to you, honestly. Uh, it might get revealed that it's Golden Freddy, and I'm sort of fine with that. 
the only part of me, like, there's a part of me saying that I'm not okay with that because it's, like, anticlimactic. Like, if we, if our first teaser for the movie, our first official teaser for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is Golden Freddy standing up like that, like, I, I really feel like it's taken away some of the magic that might come in theatres. So I'm kind of scared in that aspect. I do think it's just Freddy. Um, like, a lot of people are asking, why is Freddy outside? My question is, like, why does it matter? <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Like, again, it could go either way. Let me know in the comments what you believe, because this is a very highly debated topic somehow. Uh, and that's kind of, it really shows uh, <laughs> what the Blumhouse are dealing with. Like, this community is a little bit, mmm. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too messy of a video, but go follow me on Twitter and it's less messy there, I promise. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.